22nd IFSC Bouldering World Cup of 2013 saw us all the way deep in the south of France in Niol, home to the world's tallest bridge. Here in the final are 12 athletes. Guillaume Gleron Monday appearing in front of his home crowd here on problem one. The only top for him in this competition with a flash here from the dino start all the way up through the print holds. Managing the bonus here on the first attempt. All routes here set by Manu Hassler. Route setter responsible for the World Championships in Arco in 2011. A fantastic top, securing a good start for France's only hope here in the competition on their home turf. Jörg Verhoeven now from the Netherlands. Another athlete to be the only hope for the country in this final. An easy flash for him as well here in his first final since 2008 on the bouldering series. And Dimitri Sharapovnov, the world champion. The only athlete to have topped all of the problems in both the qualifications and the semis. Starts this final continually leading the competition as he has done from day one. Katharina Sarian then one of four Austrian athletes to make it through into the finals. Here with the run and jump start for the women's. This is her fifth attempt. The attempt that she finally managed to top here. And Jula Wurm then for Germany on her second attempt making the run and jump. Very quickly moving up to the top as well. But the real story here on the run and jump was focused around Alex Puccio and the many attempts. Unfortunately, not bringing her a top from the run and jump or even a bonus which would become vitally important to her ranking at the end of the competition. Jordan Coxie then on problem two for the women's. On her second attempt, managing the top here, after a relatively high amount of attempts to the start in problem one, eight attempts to top the run and jump. And Anna Stor here on her sixth attempt, waving to the crowd, getting up the support, to drive her all the way to the top here on that sixth attempt. Using the heel hook and a relatively interesting beta from the point of making the bonus. Swapping hands and deciding to jump straight up after the timer of four minutes plus had run down to nothing. She manages to make the jump one-handed, shows the audience her thanks for their support. And you can see the appreciation on her face. Ula Verm then on her only flash of the competition. Two tops in three attempts, her overall final standing score. This is a flash here on women's problem three with a side mantle. And you can see some of the difficulties in the route set by Mano Hassler with how small some of the holds are here. Finger and thumb between Eula and a potential place on a podium. She gradually makes her way up to the bonus. One of three female athletes to achieve a top on this problem in a flash. Kyo Noguchi then, achieving the exact same flash as Yula Verm. After a previous result of two attempts on the second problem and four attempts at the first problem, the relief at having found her flash on the third is evident here in her face. Allowing her to secure a position leading the competition as we move through. Guillaume Clara Monday, the only male athlete to have achieved four bonuses in the final, despite only managing one top out of four. Here you can see one of those bonuses. And what made the final decision between a potential medal and a silver place at the end of the competition. Rustam Gelmanov, though, Extremely tough competition here for him. 
Here we see him on men's problem two. After failing to complete the dyno, the only male athlete to have not only not completed the dyno on men's problem one, but also not done it in a flash. And here we see him falling as the alarm goes on problem two on the penultimate hold. As Kilian Fischuber of Austria on his fifth attempt here manages to do what Rustam could not. Rustam's only top then in the competition came on problem four here. This is his second attempt, moving up to take the bonus. One top for Rustam, the only other athlete to manage problem four was the man that we just saw succeeding where Rustam failed, Killian Fischuba. Here we see Rustam moving with relative ease to the second underclean before reaching out for that final move and securing the top. And a little more shaky, but nonetheless just as effective. Killian Fischuba using a knee bar here to pull himself into position and slowly begin shuffling along to secure the gold medal here with three tops in nine attempts and three bonuses in five. Here we see the relief on his face and the excitement. Knowing he performed well. And jumping from goal to goal, Anna Storr, the female Austrian climber in her only flash of the competition, right at the last on women's problem four. Extremely quick to come out and close up shop here in Miol. And our final standings here, Anna Storr of Austria with the gold, Shauna Coxie of Great Britain with the silver, and Akio Noguchi of Japan with the bronze. For the men's, Kylian Fischuba takes the gold, Guillaume Glaramonde of France takes the silver, and Jörg Verhoeven takes the bronze for the Netherlands. And here are the final standings of what marks the end of the second IFSC Bouldering World Cup in 2013. A fantastic final. Onwards to the next one in Kids Pool. Yeah, I'm super overwhelmed by this competition. I really had fun climbing the boulders and I just wanted to top them out. And well, well that it turned out to gold in the end is quite surprising. Yeah, it was really incredible. I would never have believed that I could win today. The rush is so strong and the other climbers as well. But I had a really good start and a tough fight until the last boulder and I gave everything I had so yeah, I guess I deserved the first place.